So hey guys, I am Sid and today I am going to talk about the newly launched KTM RC200 GP edition. So is it worth the penny to buy our GP edition over the normal edition? Then let's see the further video. Now what else? Starting. So guys, this is the KTM RC200 GP edition. So first I will look at the key. This is the key of this KTM RC200 GP. So basically this bike is an identically same to the standard version. Only the changes that they have made in the color scheme and the suspensions and the decals that they have used which are similar to the decals that they use for the MotoGP bikes and if you are a really one of the fans for the KTM MotoGP bikes then you can do get this bike so at the front you have this smoked uh, smoked out windshield for the normal version you get the plain white color windshield also they have smoked out the LED headlamp cluster at the front so this is another good change also indicators are being smoked out with a KTM embossing as well so these are the things at the front here you have the number plate area also they have used the WPEX uh, 43 uh, suspension at the front and the uh, front disc brake is about 300 mm as well as so 320 mm with a four post for with the four piston calipers and at the rear they have used one piston and floating calipers so this is how the ktm 200 gp edition looks like from the side so this is how the actual look you have this great decals the same styling that they have used for the moto gp now this is the only one color that you get it's a matte finish also they have used a glossy finish or glossy color for the tank and this is a matte finish for the overall body so you have this 13.7 uh, liters of tank, uh, fuel tank capacity which will give around 35 kmpl of mileage claimed by the company and here you have the rest competition also they have now used the split trellis frame uh, in the standard version you will also see that the rear frame of the bike is also painted in orange but only in MotoGP edition the rear frame the rear sub frame you can see that it has been painted with black so these are the things you have the underbelly exhaust and this is the same 199cc which produces about the 25.4 bhp of hour and 90 newton meter of torque at 8000 rpm at every 6 speed manual gearbox at the rear you have this 230 mm of a disc brake with a single uh, piston caliper floating caliper here you have the mud hugger for this car bike with the ktm embossing as well from the rear it looks quite similar only they have used the black color scheme for the near the led headlamp cluster you also have the 200 ready to race the decal or the style of the decals for the 200 is quite different as compared to the normal standard version so here you have the number plate area these are the led indicators these are the things at the rear you also get the sari card which is mandatory for the indian conditions because rto had made the mandatory for each and every bike even though if you are going for the high cc bikes now here you have the split slits split seats and so basically these are little bit more comfortable as compared to the previous generation but the you get a good amount of the comfort for the rider but a little amount of the comfort for the pillion so it would be a, an issue if you are taking a pillion to the long rides or else for the single rider it's a quite good bike to have on to go with and this is the actual uh, rear gap rail of this car uh, sorry of this bike the gap rail of this bike not the car sorry for that now here you have the foot pegs also another one thing that they have used a spring action for the gear lever as well here you can see so if you are leaning on on the corners then what it will happen if you stuck to the ground the gear levels will push out to the upward so it will won't break and if they have used uh, for most of the bikes what they do the company has used a fixed part but if you uh, if you are doing the lean on on the corners then at that time sometimes what it it breaks down if it breaks then it is very difficult to shift the gear but they have used a spring action for the foot pegs as well as for the gear so these are the uh, very interesting bits of this bike here we have the race competition now coming at to the upper side here, this is the instrument console the same instrument console that the new RC gets for the standard version as well LED which shows the gear position indicator side stand indicator here you have the speedometer again tachometer as well as the fuel gauge indicator with the kilometer order also now if you want to switch you can switch through here so here you have trip 1 trip 2 ABS uh, road mode average speed that this uh, this bike has been driven on also the average speed 2 road mode and road abs and session so these are the things uh, basic things but quite informative and also you can adjust the so handlebar position now if you compare with the rn5 now rn5 is little bit more aggressive than this and so also you can adjust the handlebar through here here they have given you the function so from using this you can just adjust if you want more aggressive then you can do it because if you are trying on a track now on left hand side these are the controls for headlights high beam low beam this is for the passing light switch this is the indicators and uh, down here this is the switch for the horn let's check out the horn switch plus <laughs> this is the horn of this bike on the right hand side this is the engine fuel switch and here you have the ignition so first is not uh, so now let's hear the sounding of this bike so i will come over here at the front first over here then i will now 
switch on it. The sounding is quite similar to the normal standard version and it is much more refined as compared to the previous generation uh, KTM RC200. So I hope you enjoy this video and really this is all about the uh, only the decals and the color scheme also and it really stands out from the crowd. It's a bit more flashy color because they have used orange matte and gloss uh, on the tank only. So these are the things now let's for the verdict. So guys this was all about the new KTM RC200 GP edition. I hope that I've played all your doubts. Now, if, uh, now which one to buy? Standard or the Moto GP? So basically these two bikes are identically the same. Only they have made the changes in the colors, color scheme and the appeal of this bike. Or else the bike is same. If you really the fan of the Moto GP then don't go, go with this. Or else if you really want a normal bike then go with the standard. Nothing less. And this bike comes at the price of around 2.54 lakhs on the road. So if you really want to buy and first of all now I thanks to the uh, Sai Service Bajaj uh, Sai Service KTM Wakade Wadi who allowed me to make a video on it and if you really want to buy any of this bike any of the Bajaj, Husqvarna, Chetak or this KTM bikes then do visit the Sai Service Bajaj and stay tuned till the rest of the rest of tech here see you soon in the next video